All right, welcome back, everyone. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at how to build has one associations off of a has many association. So to start, I'm going to create a new Rails app here, and let's just call it has one from has many. Sounds like a suitable name. So while this is uh, creating our Rails app, let's just talk about what our setup and goal here is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a model uh, for an account. And what we want is we would we want that account model to have a billing address and a, a shipping address associated to it. So those are going to be our two has one associations that we want to build. But the billing address and a shipping address, if we were to create those as separate models, they're probably going to have identical uh, attributes associated with them. The tables would have identical columns. Now, we don't necessarily want that perhaps. Um, so one thing we can do here is what we're going to walk through today is we're going to create just an address model and an account is going to have many addresses. But then off of that is where we're going to build our has one associations for a billing address and a shipping address. So let's go into our Rails app and start kind of laying some of this out. Okay, so we're first going to change into our Rails app. And then from here, let's start generating our models. So the first one we're going to make is our account model. So I'm just going to say Rails G model account. I'm not going to give it any attributes. We're just going to be solely focusing on uh, building out these associations here. All right, so next we need to make our address model. So same thing, Rails G model address. Now an address is going to belong to an account. So we'll say account references. And then the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, use an enum column for address types. So we're going to make a column for address type. And then we're going to say that this is going to be an integer. All right. And now we're going to run these, run this as well. And then we're going to migrate. All right, great. And now let's open up our editor and see what we have. Okay, so in our address class, we can see that it belongs to an account. We also need to get in here and set up our enum. So we're going to say enum address type is, let's see, we want a billing one and a shipping one. Okay, so that's that. Now we also need to go to our account model and say that an account has many addresses. All right, so let's now go into our Rails console and let's create an account here. So let's say account equals account.create. All right, and now let's make uh, a billing address and a shipping address tied to this account. So we'll say address.create and we want this address type to be billing and then the account that it's associated to is going to be the account we just did previously and then let's make a shipping address for this. Okay, great. So now if we do account.addresses we can see both of those addresses that we just created along with our account. So ideally, what we would like is to be able to do account.billing address. But if we run that right now, we see we get the undefined method billing address. So what we're going to do to get around this is this is where we're going to start implementing our has one associations built off of the has many. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, uh, let's get out of the console here and go back to our editor. Uh, the first thing we need to do in our account model here, this is where we want to say has one billing address. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the same for our shipping address as well. Okay, so with that, 
uh, if we hop back into our console and let's just grab our account first so now if we do account dot billing address we see that we have a method available and if we hit enter on it though we can see that rails can't find a valid model for billing address because we don't have a billing address model we only have an address model so they also give us another clue as to what we need to do in the next sentence it says please please provide uh, the class name option associated on the association declaration so if we actually go look at the docs and here we can see our has one uh, can take a name a scope which defaults to nil and then some options so as mentioned in the console error that we saw, we need to pass the class name to it. So right here you can see it talks about uh, how, to, how to use the class name option. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop back over to our editor and we're going to simply say class name is address. So this is the model that we want to use for uh, doing queries on this association. We'll also add the class name here for uh, shipping address. So now with this in place, if we go back into our console and we grab our account again, now if we try to call account.billing address, we'll see that we get a billing address back, uh, but what happens if we try to call shipping address on this now well it, gave, it just gave us back our billing address so it looks like what's happening here is that rails is querying the address table but it's just returning back the first record to us that it finds so this is where we need to leverage our next piece of the puzzle here and we kind of looked at it a moment ago in the documentation uh, is scopes right here so our has one can take a scope so what we need to do now is we need to tell our association how to find billing addresses and shipping addresses on the address table. So now to tell Rails how to find billing addresses, we're going to come up here. We know that the second argument we can pass to has one is a scope. So we're going to write our scope here. We're just going to simply say where the address type is billing and then we're going to do the same thing here for our shipping address except say uh, where address type is shipping all right great so with that in place let's hop back over into our console and play with this all right so back in our console here let's go ahead and grab our account and now let's try account.billing address and we see we get our billing address back and now for the moment of truth let's try our shipping address and we see that indeed this time we get a shipping address back to us so that's it for this episode uh, i just wanted to share with you some of the cool things you can do with Rails associations. You know, this is a great way to try out things and learn about uh, how they work and different things that you can do. Just spin up a Rails app. You can create some models. They don't have to have any attributes with them. You can just create them and, you know, tie them together in different ways and then experiment in the console. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will catch you next time.